After God created Adam and Eve, they ate from the tree that he had commanded them not to, and as a result, the Lord God banished them from the Garden of Eden. That garden decision affected us all. Romans 3.23 simply states that everyone has sinned and that we all fall short of God's perfect standard. Have you seen the effects of that in your world, in your life? The good news is that God had the perfect plan to deal with our sin, all of it. His plan was Jesus coming as one of us. Not only did Jesus choose followers, teach powerful lessons, and perform undeniable miracles, he dealt with our sin completely and finally. It all came together one evening when he left an upstairs room where he and his disciples had spent time together and went to the Mount of Olives to pray. He prayed, Father, if you are willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. An angel from heaven appeared and strengthened him. Then he prayed more fervently and was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. At last he stood and returned to the disciples. They had fallen asleep unaware of his pain and anguish. We can feel his struggle through the moment captured in the Bible and are amazed when he says, not my will, but yours be done. He knew what was ahead. In order to deal with our sin, Jesus deliberately chose to take the costly journey to the cross. Personalize this for a moment by asking, is there an area of your life where you need to make a choice to love and sacrifice, even if it comes with a cost? As the evening continued, one of Jesus' disciples betrayed him. Earlier, Judas had gone to the leading priests and asked, How much will you pay me to betray Jesus to you? And they gave him 30 pieces of silver. From that time on, Judas began looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus. Jesus was fervently praying the same night Judas led people to him to be arrested. And it's easy to look down on Judas, but we live in a world where people compromise their values for money and power more than we'd like to admit. We should ask ourselves, what is our own integrity worth, and do we have a price? As this video comes to a close, take a few moments in prayer, asking God to reveal any areas where you might be compromising, and ask for His strength to stand strong.